into a new vlog. Um, before I forget, if you haven't hit subscribe already, please do that. Um, I am at work today. I'm taking a little bit of a, bit of a break. Um, we had our executive meeting this morning and that started at 8.30, lasted till about 9.45, 10 ish. So it was, it was a longer meeting than usual, which was good. We talked about a lot, but um, I wanted to kind of give you an update too. Um, it's not really that exciting, but I was just going to tell you that I kind of figured out the like schedule that works best for me like posting is like weekly so um i think at this point i'm gonna run my vlogs from monday morning until sunday night and then um try and get them posted on monday um mondays are kind of hit or miss uh because obviously i work in the office and although i'm busy every day i feel like office days are particularly busy so um anyway that's kind of my plan so, um, yeah, um, I, let's see, what do I have going on today? I got out of that, I had that meeting this morning, um, I've got a meeting this afternoon from one to two, um, and then, yeah, not a whole lot, so it's a lot of catch up. I have, um, several big projects that I'm working on this year that I need to kind of get started and get mapped out, like, what I want to do, so I'm going to do that. Um, and I will check in with you guys when I can. Hello, <laughs> it is 3.30. I know I said I'd check in and it has been an insanely busy day. Um, from about 10.30 to 11.30, I guess I filmed at like 10. So 10 to 11, 11.30 I worked on um, one project and then I had a couple calls with my team. Um, I had a meeting from 1 to 2, had another call at 2.30, so from 2.30 to 3.30. Now I have been um, just working on things that kind of pop up here and there, which happens a lot. Um, and so now um, I did not get to take lunch, so um, I, I ate though, I did eat. Um, but I didn't get to actually like take a lunch and break and whatever, so... Um, I'm probably going to pack up here in about an hour and um, head home, kind of depending on where the work is for the day, but that's my check-in and I will probably see you at home. Leaving the office, ready to be home. We're at home. Here it is. Yay! Do you want to go outside? <laughs> Lily, what's she so excited about? Okay, I need to know, does anyone actually buy swimsuits this early? It's January 24th. Hello, I am currently in the parking lot at Target. Um, I had to, I had to come get a couple things, but I sold my um, base little convertible mini weekender that I got a couple weeks ago um, on Poshmark. So I had to get some stuff to ship it out. And um, I sold it because I wanted the non-convertible version. So as soon as I get the money from this sale, I'm probably gonna purchase that. But I was so <coughs> tempted by, I saw Taylor Wynn talking about um, the A New Day camel colored weekender and I just looked at it and I'm like, I'm really proud of myself. I didn't buy it, but I really, I really like it. It's a different kind of weekender. It doesn't have like the shoe compartment, which I think is why I like the base version, but I don't know. Um, the, one, the new day one is bigger. So I don't know. It doesn't have a shoe compartment, but I don't know. Do I need a shoe compartment? I like the shoe compartment. This is just one of those like first world problems and debates. Um, so I don't know. I'll probably think about it for the next like two weeks while I'm still on my no buy and then decide then. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go home, get that packaged up and shipped out. I got on the treadmill probably about like 430. So for the last 30 minutes of work, um, I walked for about an hour. Um, so that's kind of done and out of the way. So I have the whole evening to do 
um, whatever I want. I have the dogs, so um, I probably won't do much. I'll probably just have some dinner, watch some TV, catch up on shows, um, but yeah, that's been my Tuesday. I'm getting ready to go to bed, take the dogs out, and then go to bed, but um, didn't really do much. Dropped off the package um, this after this evening. My gosh. Um, and then came home and had, actually had ravioli for dinner. <laughs> um, and then sat on the couch with Lily and just watched, um, some TV. We caught up on Chicago Med. Um, and yeah, so I'm getting ready to go to bed, but I have been making a conscious effort to, like, clean up the couch, um, at night. <laughs> That's the blanket I usually, like, um, use at night. And, like when I'm on the couch and then I move these pillows so I can like sit kind of back there and instead of just leaving the pillows you know like that and the blanket all messed up I have been putting the pillows back I know I know I yeah anyway such an adult but um anyway I'm going to take a bath I'm going to bed um I will see you guys tomorrow Good morning, everyone. I am getting ready to head out. I'm traveling to Kansas City today for work, but wanted to show you my hot pink blazer. I'm going through a hot pink phase, but I just love this blazer so much. I think it's so cute. sample <laughs> hey guys it is Tuesday afternoon we're out on a walk and it is a beautiful beautiful day Lily <laughs> okay so it's Tuesday evening I am about to go to a cooking class and I am four minutes I'm here four minutes for, before the class starts. So it starts at six, it's 5.56, so I need to get in there. Um, I'm excited, it's about root vegetables <laughs> um, and cooking those, so we'll see how it goes. home. I just got home from the cooking class. Um, it was really fun. I went by myself because my mom couldn't go. So that was kind of awkward, but, um, it was called rooted and it was at this little kind of, um, home remodeling place that we have here in Topeka. And the guy that did it, his name is Greg Fox. Um, he used to have a restaurant here in Topeka called Row House, which I think closed like maybe right at the beginning of the pandemic, but um, he does cookbooks and when he had row house, it was like literally a row house. You go in and I think there were two different floors. They have a huge garden in the back. It was just so fun and he did really cool stuff and it was like fine dining type, um, of place. And it was just something that like was really cool for Topeka. Um, but you know, COVID and he does cookbooks and then he does these cooking classes. And so this one was called Rooted. And it was all about root vegetables. So like turnips, radishes, rutabagas, sweet potatoes, carrots, that kind of thing. So he did a roasted sweet potato soup or maybe just sweet potato soup. I don't know if there's any roasting, but um, he did that. And then um, did just showed us how to do like roasted veggies and um, pickled veggies, which I really love pickled um, things. And what was the other thing? Um, oh, a puree, a carrot puree. And so then it kind of, it was really cool because it kind of all came together. So 
the main like meals, I guess, were the sweet potato soup. And then he did like a, it was kind of an appetizer type deal where it had ricotta cheese on the bottom. And then he topped it with um, the roasted veggies and then some roasted kale, which was actually really good. Um, some of the pickled veggies and I think that was it. Yeah, I think that was it. But oh my gosh, everything together was just fantastic and the roasted veggies were so good. So it was a really fun time. It was really fun to do kind of something different and like get out and do something. Um, so highly recommend. I got on their list and I'll probably be going to um, some more classes. So that was really fun. But anyway, I'm home. It's like 8.15. I'm going to take a hot bath. I have two episodes left of you. So I'm going to finish that and I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so why is it when you're out not looking your best is always when you run into a cute guy? I just went to a liquor store and I wanted to get some wine because it's Wednesday and, you know, one Wednesday. And um, there was a really cute guy there and I look like I just rolled out of bed. Like I have sweatpants on and my slides with socks so anyway I got I got my favorite this is my favorite wine and then I also got there was a lady it's Josh um there was a lady at the um cooking thing last night who had not this wine this is the reserve um Reserve cab, reserve cab. So this is not the one she had. She had the one with the white label, but I couldn't find that one. But she also said that the reserve is really good. So I'm gonna try this and watch the last episode of part one, season four of you. So that is gonna be my night. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so I just tried the wine and it's actually really good. I'm impressed. I thought, because this is something I see influencers drinking a lot, I was like, is it really that good? And after the lady yesterday said it was good, I was like, okay, I'll try it. And it really is good. Okay, so I'm watching Outer Banks. It's Thursday evening. And I just have to say, John B, obviously, he's super cute, but I think, Pope is like the cutest, sweetest thing on this show. He's so sweet and always just tries to be the good guy and nothing ever goes right for him. Um, so I like Pope. Pope is my guy, but um, I have pretty much binged season three today. I'm on episode six and it just came out today. So it's, I'm probably going to finish it tonight, but um I am drinking some wine. My dogs are here. I'm going to end this vlog here um, because my bestie is coming to visit me this weekend. So um, I'm going to have a girls weekend um, vlog coming. So I will see you guys in the next one.